What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because Dino just recently got announced some brand new support and these cards are absolutely insane. Now I'm going to get into that when we get into the video but if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel. We do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, YouTube shorts, all that good stuff. You guys are going to get a ton of different kinds of content here on the channel but I'm really excited because you guys know Dino is one of my favorite decks if not my favorite favorite deck of all time and it getting brand new support makes me really excited and I really want to show you guys what the new support can actually do by showing you guys a combo so I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and with that let's get right into the combo okay so just before I get into showing you guys a combo or a replay with these cards I really want to show off the cards here first and just briefly discuss them so the two new cards that I'm talking about and these cards are absolutely insane are Kaitoptera I don't know if I'm saying that right Kaitoptera as well as Hornsaurus Hornsaurus is a little bit easier to say and uh, you guys also can probably tell I'm still a little bit sick okay so sorry about not being able to upload recently but I'm still trying to just get back into form here but anyways let's get into the video so as I was saying I just want to quickly briefly go over these and essentially this card is insane this card is a brand new version of giant rex for the deck because essentially it has the same effect where if it becomes banished you can special summon it and then you can add a polymerization from your graveyard to your hand and that can be really relevant because if you guys don't know during your main phase you can add a polymerization from your deck to your hand and that's going to help you get into this boy over here and it does help you with the combos a lot and that's pretty much it for that card now over here we have the horn source which is absolutely insane card it being a level six is insane because it does synergize really well with the Xeno Dinos or the Transcend Drakes I think is what they're called in the TCG are going to be called so the Transcend Drake cards are really good with this but I'm actually not even playing the Transcend Drake stuff in the combo that I'm going to be showing you because this gives you access to another level 10 Synchro Monster that's absolutely insane you guys might already know what it is but that card is really really good and this card just on its own is insane so if it's Fusion Summon you can place a Field Spell from your deck or Graveyard face up in your Field Zone this gets you access to Lost World yes you guys heard me right it gets you access to Lost World, which is absolutely insane because now you don't need to max out on playing three Lost World and a Terraforming because Lost World is now searchable in your combo, which is absolutely insane. And then it has another really cool effect where during your main phase, immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon a dinosaur or dragon monster. Now in this combo, I'm not going to be using that effect, but you guys are going to see that in different game states, in different situations, that extra normal summon can be absolutely insane, right? So if you guys have played Dino before, you, you know how like the normal summon is really, really powerful and being able to have a second normal summon is really good. But again, in this combo I'm going to be showing you guys, you're not going to be using that effect, but in real game states, you are going to be using that effect pretty frequently, I would say, all right? And then it also has a really cool effect where I can attack directly the turn and special summon. This is actually pretty relevant. If you're ever going into time, you can't break your opponent's board, and you can somehow make this, whether you open your Polymerization or you open your Kaitoptera, which it needs, by the way, as a fusion material, but then the other material can be any dinosaur or dragon monster, which is really nice. But if you're able to make this going into time, going second, you can just go straight into your battle phase, try to attack for 2k helps you with time which is kind of nice as well so that's it for the brief breakdown of these cards and i think these cards are absolutely insane and let me show you guys a quick combo two cards over here oviraptor plus baby now this is a combo that i kind of just quickly put together it may not be fully refined but i'm going to be discussing the combo and potential different ways this combo can go especially because all i'm showing you guys is two cards over here but again if you have that extra monster that you can now normal summon with the fusion monster it becomes so much more powerful the horn saurus i believe so horn saurus gives you access to so much more potential and just such a high ceiling for this deck but i'm just gonna be showing you guys a basic two card combo it's ov raptor plus baby but ov raptor plus fossil dig baby plus fossil dig misc plus ov misc plus baby all of those combos even arco plus baby all of those will do the exact same combo all right so just keep that in mind so let's get right into it here we're normal summon our ov raptor we're going to activate our ov raptor effect to get to our misc and this is what i mean if you guys have misc plus baby what you can do is you can activate your misc use its effect summon arco arco pop baby baby then summon ov raptor ov raptor search the second baby and then you can normal summon the baby you see what i mean like all these combos just kind of work the same way and they all do the same thing which is really nice but here we're going to search the misc we're going to activate the misc effect and then we're going to be able to use a misc in the graveyard to summon an arco arco is going to be able to pop the baby sarasaurus very standard dino stuff that you guys are going to see up to this point the only thing that really changes is when you're able to summon your kaitoptera oh, man i have such a hard time saying that name the only thing that changes it was when you summon that because that's where the combo kind of becomes different because now you're fusion summoning which is crazy in dino right so here we're going to be able to use the baby effect 
effects, summon another baby, and we're going to be able to pop the baby with the OV Raptor, which is going to summon the other baby from our graveyard, and then trigger now the baby that was just destroyed, which is really nice because we're going to be able to get to our Scrap Raptor over here. Now you guys are going to see, I'm going to talk about this a little bit later, there's something I do here that can be done differently, but it ends up the same thing, it's just two different ways you guys can do it, alright? So here what we're going to do is we're going to make the Link Karibo with our Archosaurus, this way we can get pretty much a non-dino setup in our graveyard, and then we're going to be able to use our Scrap Raptor effect to pop the baby so that we can actually get an extra normal summon for our Scrap Monster, this is going to be really relevant when we search our Scrap Chimera later, and then Baby Sarasaurus is going to get to trigger to summon either your Petite Pteranodon or another Baby Sarasaurus. That's why we're playing three Baby Sarasaurus in this deck. And essentially, like the really cool thing is at this point, I summon the Petite Pteranodon, but honestly, you can summon another Baby Sarasaurus. And at the end of the combo, I'll explain why you can actually just go another baby because you'll be able to get to a Petite later. So at this point, when I was putting the combo together, I wasn't actually thinking that far ahead. But again, that's all going to make sense at the end of the combo. So maybe here you should actually probably go for a Baby Sarasaurus instead of a Petite Pteranodon. But it gets the same job done because essentially now you're going to be going into your Scrap Wyvern, you're going to be using your Scrap Wyvern effect so you can summon back your Scrap Raptor, and then you're going to pop your Scrap Raptor, so that then what you can do is summon a Scrap Raptor from your deck, and then Scrap Raptor, because it was destroyed, can search a Scrap Chimera, and you do have that extra normal summon, so here you're going to summon your Scrap Raptor, you're going to be able to search your Chimera, and then Wyvern, of course, when it summons from deck, has to pop a card on the field, so you're going to pop the Petit Pteranodon here, which is going to get you access to the brand new monster, Kytoptera, right? So now this card, you can activate its effect, keep in mind, you activate its effect, it's not like an on summon effect, you activate it in your main phase so you activate the effect to search a polymerization so now at this point you have a dragon on the field which you can use the scrap chimera if you actually wanted to use the scrap chimera but i'm going to go pretty basic we're going to use the captop terra as well as the soul eating ov raptor over here with our polymerization so that now we can summon our Horn Saurus. Now Horn Saurus, when it's special summon, you can place a field spell from your deck or your graveyard to your side of the field. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use it so that you can activate your Lost World here, all right? So now what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna use the Scrap Raptor and the Horn Saurus so that you can summon the level 10 Baron the floor. If you guys don't know, Scrap Tap is a level 4 tuner, Foreign Source is level 6 non tuner. Boom, we have our Baron de floor now, which is absolutely insane. And this is actually going to come up and it's going to be very important at the end of the combo as, as well, which is really nice here. So then what we're going to do is summon our Scrap Chimera. We're going to activate its effect so that we can summon back our Scrap Raptor. And at this point, we should have activated Lost World. I forgot to activate the Lost World here, but it's okay. It doesn't really make a difference because I'll show you guys why later. But yeah, at this point, you would have a token if you guys wanted to. You guys are going to see that I use the double evolution pill, summon conductor and then I'm going to put the token on the field. So again, this is something that you should definitely do. Don't forget the token because that's really relevant. So we're going to summon the Captop Terra here and then Lost World because we summoned a Dino can now summon a token to our opponent's side of the field. So I have to do all these shenanigans, of course, because it's Dueling Book. So we summon our token to our opponent's side of the field, and now we have so many monsters and so many different options that you guys can go to. You guys can go into Apollo for four here if you wanted to. You can go into Apple for three. Here, what you guys are going to see me do is I'm actually going to go to Apple for three here. And then because Lost World, of course, you're only really going to get two negates, but you still want to go Apple for three because you still get two monster negates. But on top of that, if your opponent gets rid of the Lost World, then at least this way, you'll still have the third negate on on the apple which is really nice right so you have three negates here on the apple and then what you can do here is you have baron the floor so baron's effect now can pop a card on the field and lost world says that if you try to pop a token or it's destroyed by battle then you can protect it and pop another card from your deck instead so here what we're going to do is we're going to target the token with our baron the floor and we're going to use a lost world effect to protect it and pop a baby from our deck now remember with the petite pteranodon play that i was talking about earlier if you guys summon baby earlier and saved petite pteranodon for this moment at this point Point, what you can do is you can then summon a Pancratops for another form of disruption, right? But because we didn't have our Petite Tyranid on, we're only playing one Petite, we're using the baby here to summon an Ovi Raptor. Of course, you're not going to get the Ovi Raptor effect, but what this does allow you to do is have Ovi Raptor plus Capital Terra so that you can then make a Dolka here. So now you're ending on how many negates? We're counting one Omni negate with Baron, three monster negates with Apo, so that's four negates, two monster negates with Dolka, so we're at six. And then for a seventh, we have our ultimate conductor, Tyranno. By the way, keep in mind that you can actually add polymerization back to our hand, and I completely forgot to do it. But essentially, when your Captop Terra is uh, summoned back onto the field, you can add a polymerization from your graveyard back to your hand. I, I didn't do that, I forgot to do that, but this gives you that hand advantage so that if you ever need for other cards in your engine, if you need a discard or something like that, you'll have that card there for you, right? But anyways, the adding the polymerization is not like that much of a, I mean, I understand, you should have poly in your hand. My bad guys, I was just, putting together a combo I was trying to theorycraft a combo here and I just think this combo is insane if you think about it right 
Like you're ending on seven disruptions plus a lost world token on your opponent's side of the field, which means if they're playing Kostura, keep in mind by the time this comes out, Kostura might not be relevant, but let's just say Kostura is still relevant. If they're playing Kostura, they can't just special summon a unicorn. They have to have birth plus a monster. And on top of that, if your opponent top decks like an imperm as their sixth card, let's say, they can't just now imperm to break your board or to bait out your Baron. They can't do that anymore because they have the token on this side of the field. Same thing if your opponent has an evenly matched, right? There's now a card on their side of the field. So I'm just saying like, it's just one of those things where it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. Your opponent cannot no longer target cards you control. This board is actually kind of insane. Seven disruptions plus a lost world token on your opponent's side of the field is so crazy. And lastly for this combo, I just want to say you guys have to keep in mind that this is just kind of an early theory crafting of this. I'm sure there's so many different ways to do the combo. I'm sure if I summoned the token earlier, I probably could have used the Baron earlier, but it's just absolutely insane that you're able to do this and it's just off a two card combo. This is obviously again without an extra dino for the extra normal summon and just different variants like that which could raise the ceiling for this deck even further. Also, just before we end the video, if you guys want to see the deck list here, this is kind of a deck list that I put together. I'm not going to do a full deck profile here, but it's just pretty much your standard dino stuff. But instead of playing Giant Rex, we're now playing the Cap Top Terra because this card just does so much more for you. The one polymerization as well. But otherwise, it's just generic uh, dino stuff. We're only playing one Lost World again because it's searchable. If anyone asks about the diagram and the True Kings, you guys can definitely do that as well. I chose not to because I felt like a lot of the combos, you're not actually ever going to go into diagram anyways. Because after you've combo, you've already used used all your baby Sarasauruses, or at least most of them. So at that point, it's like, where is Diagram really going for you? So that's just why I'm not choosing to play Diagram. And you really want to play as little bricks as your deck as possible, right? So there's a potential for the True King stuff. I just don't think you need to play it at the moment. And then we're playing like hand traps and board breakers. Keep in mind that this is always going to change depending on the format. By the time we get this card, I don't even know it's going to be meta at that point. So depending on what the meta is, you obviously are going to change up the hand traps or the board breakers. Like if Regeki, Dark Hole are really good, or if cards like Evenly Matched really good there's just so many different things that could be relevant so for that reason it's like these nine cards or 12 cards i should say over here even 13 cards if we can't the harpy's feather duster right all of these cards over here are always just going to be changed depending on what the format is right so i just want you guys to keep that in mind just a bunch of different board breakers but we have the fact that we have 13 spots for non-engine is just crazy so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy i hope you guys kind of see the potential with these brand new cards and how far it can take dino now keep in mind again these were like the early stages of the brand new combos there's probably a ton of different ways you guys can do it and there's a ton of things that can still be discovered if you guys have any ideas of course let me know in the comment section down below that's how we get better together as a community so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff you catch it right here on the channel so i hope you guys enjoy it with that thank us i don't know peace